Jerome Horden, and I'm going to be going over three different reliable ways to make money online in this video. I'm also going to show you how to do it on my computer. So in this video, we're going to be going over some reliable ways to earn money online. Everybody wants a reliable income. I'm actually going to show you three ways that you can do it. One is using affiliate marketing, which is what I do. The other is using e-commerce, selling physical products and whatnot. I'm going to show you all this on my computer in just a second here. And the third one is by starting your own like marketing agency or social media agency or whatnot or just agency. Now, one thing that you want to keep in mind when you're looking for a reliable income, it's a very important word. And that word is recurring. Okay, you're looking for recurring revenue. You want something where whether you're an affiliate, whether you're selling a product or whether you're an agency, you want to make sure the products you're selling are being billed on a monthly basis or that you're on some sort of monthly retainer with your client. Again, you want that month over month over month income. So you want to make sure you look for that income. Now let's go on my computer right here. Now if we're going to do affiliate marketing, what affiliate marketing is, is it's selling somebody else's product and earning a commission for selling it. And how you do that online is you use links, okay? If affiliate marketing, you get a you get a unique link that shows that you're the one who created that link. And if people click on it, you get credit and you make money for it. So here I'm on ClickBank. ClickBank's one of the older companies. They've been around for 20 some years. They're the company I make money with. Now what you would do is you'd go over to the marketplace right here. And in the marketplace, you see you can search for products. So what you just do is you click the product search button right there. And you'll get a ton of products that will show up. Now what we want specifically, if we're looking for reliable income that we can bet on month over month, is we actually want to scroll down here where it says attributes and we want to select, it says required billing types, we want to select recurring because we only want to see products that we're going to make money month over month on. Now as we see here, there's a weight loss product called Flat Belly Fix. There's a woodworking product called Ted's Woodworking. And each of these products, Lean Belly Breakthrough, they have recurring income components to them. Now what we see here is that we earn $54 per sale from recommending this woodworking program which teaches aspiring woodworkers how to actually start working with wood. And for many people this is a steal because you know, my mom's a woodworker and she spent thousands and thousands of dollars going to a local community college classes do woodworking. So this gives you a way to do it from home. Now but you'll also see that it says average rebuild total and what rebuild means is it means recurring billings. And that means you, you make on average an additional $82 over time from the rebuild. So that's really good. And that means you are creating a reliable income for yourself because over time you're getting some monthly income. Now another option of what you can do to start making money online is you can start an e-commerce company. You can start selling some sort of physical product to make money online. And this is a great option. Anything you can sell on a recurring basis. Okay, and I'm going to show you a few examples of products that are being sold and have monthly subscriptions to them. So here's a popular site called, which started on the internet called MeUndies. Okay, and MeUndies does underwear. They do really cool designs of underwear and you buy a monthly subscription to receive one or two or three pairs of underwear per month. So it's really cool and you get new pairs of underwear and you know they're really hip. So as you see here and you can get all other sorts of stuff and it says try your first pair risk free. So you might be thinking, oh, how am I getting a free pair of underwear? Well, it's because you're on, you're on a monthly bill. So giving your first pair free but the next pair you pay 20 bucks for and the next pair you pay 20 bucks for and et cetera. So that's a really cool one. Another example of a, a reliable income online is in the shaving space. Again, very boring space but Dollar Shave Club, I'm sure almost everybody's familiar with Dollar Shave Club. They're really popular uh, with their commercials on, online and on TV and uh, they sell razor blades on a subscription basis. I think it's like 20 bucks a month or something that they're selling their razor blades for online. So great option. 
And here's another one called Beard Brand. Dot com and beard brand they sell beard oil and beard supplies on a subscription basis so once again they're creating that reliable income for themselves selling beard related products those would all be examples of ways you can make a very consistent income selling products and these are just average products they're nothing outside of the norm i mean we just talked about razor blades and underwear and beard oil Nothing crazy, but again, they've created recurring income for themselves. The third way you can make money online in a reliable fashion is running your own agency. Now, as an agency, what you want to be doing is you want to be billing on a monthly basis. Again, you want that reliable income. So you need to make sure that your clients are not just working with you one time, is that they're working with you on a regular basis. You know, one of the sites that I used to use to find clients that would pay me on a monthly basis was Upwork.com. You know, one of the ways I got started in business for myself was I found a number of independent clients on Upwork.com and what I did to find clients was simply I searched for clients that were in my skill base, which was Google AdWords. I reached out to 25 people per day. Let's just do a search here. I'll look up AdWords. Now I did a quick search for AdWords in Upwork and I found 420 people that were interested in having some help with Google AdWords and managing their advertising on Google. Now what I did back, this was back in 2012, was I would reach out to 25 people a day. I'd spend roughly one to two hours reaching out to 25 people. I had templates, you know, so I just changed, you know, a few things here and there, but I sent more or less the same job template to each person, you know, giving them a little information about myself, my case studies, what I've done, what my skills were, etc. And I might work with them on a one-off project or not, but what I would like let them all know, what I tried to get everybody into was paying me on a monthly basis to manage their advertising. That's what I did. And by reaching out to 25 people every morning, I made sure it was in the morning so I didn't like, you know, let the day get ahead of myself. I built up a funnel of people and over time I had a number of people paying me to the point where I was making over $10,000 a month with the clients that were paying me on a recurring basis and that's when I quit my job. I was making $6,000 a month from my job and um, I quit my job when I was making $10,000 in recurring client billings per month. I figured it gave me a little bit of buffer zone because, you know, as an entrepreneur, business is all over the place. So those are a few ways to make money, reliable ways. You know, keep in mind that as an entrepreneur, there's always going to be ups and there's always going to be downs. Even if you have recurring income, things can still be unreliable if you, you know, depending on what you're selling. You know, I, I remember when I was running an ad agency, you know, I had $15,000 you know, I got to a point where I had $15,000 a month in billings, but $10,000 a month was one client. So I had a lot of what's called saturation. So if you're in a business where you have a high saturation, you have more risk. Whereas if that $115,000 a month was divided evenly over 100 clients, you know, 100 people paying you $150 a month, that's got a lot less risk associated with it. So one thing you kind of want to keep in mind is, What's your saturation? Because if you have too much, like I did, you know, when I was running my agency, your income can drop really fast. So, you know, that can be a bit alarming. Hope that helped. If any of these three particular things helped the most, write down what was the most interesting to you uh, in the comments. Was it affiliate marketing? Was it the e-commerce stuff? Or was it the agency uh, starting your own agency? I'd love to know. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see. I'm doing some exclusive giveaways, some exciting stuff um, and what have you.